Hey everybody and welcome back. Uh, today what we're going to talk about or this evening is coil and where most people don't even understand what this really means. And a lot of the videos you see me, you know, put my trail hand in front of my lead hand to show you how things work. But let's try to understand this a different way. If I asked you to stand up with me right now, put your arms like this, resist with this right foot so it's really planted in the ground right now, and all I want you to do is turn as much as you can with the you know upper part from T1 through T12, so all, which is really just, it's going to feel like your rib cage for a minute. So all I want you to do is just turn and keep that tension. That's a coil. That's a coil, okay? And since you stood up, you're like, well, man, I don't feel that in my golf swing. Nobody does. Hogan did, but nobody else really the way the golf swing is being taught today because everybody, and you've seen me do it, but I, I am turning the correct stuff. But for simplicity, I'm like, look, let's take this trail hand, put it in front of the left, and then move like this. But what you're going to notice, okay, watch this, because we're still going to go in under and up and the stuff that I've been talking about, but I'm going to do it with my trail hand in front of my lead hand. So all of a sudden I'm going to be like, okay, there we go. Now right here when I'm at the top, believe it or not, what I feel turning is everything below my rib cage, everything below my rib cage. So it's like, Okay, I think I'm turned. I'm like, okay, this is why people are like, oh, I'm not flexible enough. I can't get this shoulder turn that they're talking about. But you can, okay? So what we need to do, it's real simple. So instead of putting the left hand, the trail hand in front of the lead hand, what I want you to do is take the trail hand and put it on top of the lead hand to where it's going to look like this. And then you're just going to go, uh-oh, you're going to feel it instantly. And then you're going to go to the top, you're going to feel it some more. And then when you get to the top, you're going to be like, oh my God, for the first time ever, this is now going to turn. David Ledbetter, if you want to think about it this way, is really the first guy, instructor, that was like, hey, let's just put the trail hand underneath the lead hand and let's go this way. Well, this way, pushing force away from my body is, you know what, there's a little bit of lateral. Then I come up and I try to get there and most people's turn is only going to be right there. I haven't coiled anything. It just feels like this way with the trail hand underneath the lead hand, it just feels like, okay, I've turned, but I really, as I go to the top, I don't feel the coil. You just won't. You absolutely will not. But when you take the trail hand, put it over the lead hand, now take the trail hand and push this way, immediately look at the difference. Let's just do the takeaway for a second. Trail hand over the lead hand, this way. I can feel this starting to turn. Now let's do it with the trail hand underneath the lead hand and I turn. It's not the same feeling. You're going to figure it out for yourself. It is just not the same feeling. So this is the trail hand in front of the lead hand. No good. Now I'm going to put the trail hand on top of the lead hand. Oh, there it is. There it is. And there it is. So now I'm coiled, I'm coiled, I'm centered as a, a, in the middle of my body, but look at how much over it looks like I'm over this leg because this is coiled. So now I'm right there. Pretty easy to understand. So let's look at it from this view for a second. Okay, so I'm here, I'm gonna put the trail hand in front uh, and under the lead hand like Ledbetter told everybody, this way. Then I'm going to go to the top. Now, for Hogan, that looks pretty good. It really does. But it's not what it is. So if we take the trail hand, put it over the lead hand, now I'm going to start making these moves. Now when I get to the top, 
What a difference because I'm coiled and everything is going to work out exactly how it's supposed to. So when we can understand this, it is so valuable because the really cool part about it is you don't see the biggest thing that people think is that you got to go out and you got to hit balls and thousands of balls and practice and do all this stuff. The truth is you don't. What you need to start understanding is how the body's moving how the path of the hands are moving in relationship to the body, then when you really have a solid grasp of that information and you've practiced it and you've done the training the right way, then take it to the driving range, then take it to the golf course. But you need to have the correct information and the correct feels because everybody says feel isn't real. But I guarantee you this much, you take this trail hand, you put it on top of the lead hand and you start, now again, we're still talking about how we're you know, getting this type of action with the hand and all the different things to get to the top. But when I take the trail hand and put it over the lead hand, I'm going here because I've gone up. Now I'm going under. Now I'm getting to the top. And I am coiled like there is really no tomorrow. And because now I can feel this, guess what we get to do? We get to put it into our golf swing. So no longer are we going to be going this way, which is trail hand underneath the lead hand. Oh, okay, well that doesn't feel anywhere close to what I just did. But now we put the trail hand on top of the lead hand and we're working up and then we're working under and then we're working to the top of the swing. You are gonna feel more coiled than you've ever felt in your life. And it has nothing to do with your flexibility. Flexibility, hell, I'm not the most flexible person in the world either. But the reality is, when you start moving this away, you are going to feel how this left side is engaging to get us to the top. And now this part moves. Now this part will turn more because I'm really coiled. I mean, it's as simple as that. So make sure you try it. You're going to say, wow, this is crazy. And the first time you feel it, which is going to be pretty damn fast, you will start taking the club away like this instead of like that. Because the coil, it's all coming from here, the left side, but because I've got the right, the, the trail hand on top of the right and it's pushing back and up in this direction, then I'm going under, here it comes. I am so wound up. And then in the downswing, I'm going to keep that tension. I'm going to keep that tension because that tension, people can be like, ooh, that's a little uncomfortable. Well, it's live tension. And that live tension is what's going to allow us to hit a shot. So that's how you do it in the backswing. We'll make a future video about what's happening in the, in the, in the downswing. Hopefully I said that right. This is the way the backswing works. Now I'm going to do a, uh, there'll be a video coming up to show you what's going on in the downswing. We'll see you soon.